<laughs> nice. It's fun. So I started my journey for cars when I was a young kid and I've always loved them. But you know, it was really imports that got me started in cars before I went to the dark side of V8s. And one of those that I've always cherished are the Evos, which came out in 1992 and they've progressed over the years. And me personally, I love the Evo 5. But ever since they came to the US, we had something even better, this beautiful Evo 10. But this particular one is rare. There's only a few hundred of them made in this cosmic blue. And it's a gorgeous color. I love blue, especially when it's this nice, deep, almost purplish, which gives it that little bit extra. You know, we were driving up here and people were staring at it. You're like, oh, it's like a unicorn. All right, let's see what this 2014 Evo is all about. This is my favorite first turns here because it's fun. Oh, somebody went off there. That's nice. Oh, ooh. You know, the owner, Luke, had mentioned to me that under power, this car does not understeer, which for an all-wheel drive car is usually the case. This, not even a hint of it, not even a whiff. The brakes, they're good. I would prefer a little bit more action to them. When you push the pedal down, you kind of want it to slow down a good bit better than what it does, considering the speed that it carries. Oh, this car has to be revved to be happy. Obviously, it needs to be in the power band. That makes sense. But really, for the turbos to do their job, it's got to be four and a half, five grand and above for it to really, really start to make a difference in your driving. But, whew, so far, <laughs> it's nice. It's fun. The steering's so light and, and it's just accurate. Wherever you point the steering wheel, it's where the car stays. Look at this. Right on the turn, it's beautiful. And then come out of it, and then we're back in the power band. Ooh, that's good. Still don't love the brakes though. <laughs> oh man. Wow, there seems to be grip just everywhere. So one thing that I find rather interesting about this transmission is the smoothness of it. To go from second to third to fourth, you know, I'm in manual mode and when you do it manually, it's very good. It actually snaps really quickly. This is in the F Sport now. So because of this, the shifts are a little harsher than probably with the Sport or normal mode. But that's kind of what I want is like you're ripping around, you like feeling that hard engagement and this transmission does that. Now the Evo 10 has around 290 horsepower, 300 foot pounds of torque, which when compared to an SCI the same year, they had 300 and 300. So it's really not that far off. But what I think is really great about this car is the transmission. It does have that almost GTR like automatic paddle shift and sportstronic shifting. And it's very smooth <laughs> to a point. <laughs> when you're shifting so much, when you have it in an automatic and you let it drive for you, it gets hung up in gears. It doesn't know where it wants to be. It's kind of dimwitted. It's sort of slow. It doesn't really change gears all that much. So I find myself wanting to go into the manual mode a lot. And you know, when you're in manual mode, it works really well. Another thing I like about this transmission, the way that you have to manually shift, these paddles actually feel pretty decent. There's a slight detent. They don't feel super floppy and they don't feel cheap in a sense. I mean, yes, you like to have a little more of an auditory little click, but I'll tell you what, they're super, super smooth. There's actually a lot of space on them. They feel great. Now for this 2014 Evo 10 MR, the interior's okay. <laughs> We're not gonna say it's got the top of the line fit and finish here. Um, I believe this is aftermarket, so let's not look at this dash right here, but these pieces, they're that hard, scratchy plastic. This trim piece is nice and all, but it's definitely not of quality. It's definitely very plasticky. You know, all the stuff in here, it looks nice, but it's not gonna blow you away. You know, this car is very much geared towards the driving experience, not so much the overall aesthetics inside. I will say that these nicer car seats are a little more comfortable than I was expecting. I expected them to be harsh. I expected them to be very, very tight. They do hug you snugly and they do fit you decently well. Uh, as a bigger person, you might not find them quite as comfortable. They're not bone hard, so there's a little softness to them. This car came with a Rockford Fosgate sound system in it. I think it sounds okay. <laughs> I didn't have the stereo on really while I was driving. Someone replaced it to Alpine Dash, you know, whatever. It's part of the par for the course of these types of cars. They very rarely are they unmodded. So for a car like this, Luke left it pretty much stock. And I tell you what, in true form, 
if the interior is not gonna blow you away by any means. But let's talk about how this car drives, because to me, that's really what makes the Evo 10 MR really stand out above most of the other ones. It's this driving experience, right? What does it feel like? The steering is super light and very, very precise. We can go into a turn, that torque vector in the front, oh man, it just holds and just goes along a turn beautifully. Under power, there's very, very, very little understeer, which is kind of surprising. Usually when you're driving and you go around a turn with an all-wheel drive car, it wants to push you understeer. You know, there's three different types of driving modes and there's tarmac, gravel, and snow. That also obviously depends on what you're driving on. You also have a switch down here, which toggles between normal, sport, and S-sport, which S-sport is your, obviously your more aggressive driving. It's gonna have your harsher shifts. It's gonna have your throttle response be a lot sharper. That's kind of what I like driving in. While driving the Evo 10, I expected a little more occasion, a little bit more drama while driving. I expected to have that transmission noise, the blow off out, the exhaust. I didn't have any of that extra noise. It was very tame on the inside, which is a little surprising. Also, the suspension wasn't quite as harsh as I expected it. I expected to just pound my kidneys, make it a horrible ride, bounce all over the place. It wasn't that bad. It was definitely stiff and as, as expected, but the car was very planted and it didn't have a lot of body roll to it. When it went around a turn, you lift it a little bit and then just stayed there. It was very, super, super nice. Now, the Zevo 10 obviously has a turbocharger on it. There is lag to it. You have to get above four or 5,000 RPM for that turbo to kick in and get that whoosh of power that you like. Below that, it's not that it's gutless, but it doesn't have a lot of oomph. It'll get you going, it'll get you moving, but you have to be in high revs. And I think that's part of why the transmission likes to stay four or five, six grand, because it's where the engine really likes to be. So here we are at the brakes have to talk about brakes because to me that's what sets vehicles apart this is what makes you go into a turn with confidence the evo 10 brakes are brembos they are strong but initial pedal feel to me is a little hard you push it it doesn't feel like it does anything and then it really starts to break it doesn't quite maybe go yeah this is definitely going to work it kind of like okay oh yeah we're good we're good now now looking at this evo 10 it is a four-door sedan and you go, this thing's a freaking boat. There's no way it's gonna turn. Untrue. <laughs> I found this out earlier. You can make a very tight U-turn with this car. Holy crap, did it blow me away. I did not expect it to make a slight U-turn here, go lane to lane and not have to go into the shoulder at all. <laughs> the turning radius on Evo 10 is amazing. You know, you compare it to like the VET, the VET turns like a freaking boat. Now going off the steering that I just mentioned, I would have so much fun on a racetrack with this because the power isn't super overwhelming and because the handling is so precise, you can go to a track and feel very confident and not feel overwhelmed while racing this thing around. You know, even with the brakes, they work. They work great and at speed, the transmission's amazing. This car is gonna be such a freaking blast. The Evo 10, it's very well sorted out. It is a super fun machine to drive. I would absolutely have one. <laughs> this thing would be a track monster, a freaking mountain monster. It'd just be just one of those things that you drive around and just have a blast while being in. You know, it's not crazy expensive, so you don't have to worry about it quite as much. It just works. It's good. It's like when I ride smaller CC bikes. They're just fun. And in a car, ah, you know I love driving, and this car absolutely personifies driving. I love it. I can't thank Luke enough. I'm gonna put his Instagram right here. Maybe, maybe here, I'm not sure. But anyways, his Instagram's gonna be up. It's also gonna be a link down below, but I can't thank him enough for allowing me to take his beast out here again. Whew, a lot of fun. But with that, I hope you all have a good one. I'm out. Yeah.